How does Jesus Christ make us free? If you look at Galatians 5 verse 1, it reads as forth. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty. All right, so liberty means freedom, wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled with the yoke of bondage. So we learn that Christ has made us free. And that's why you should stand in that liberty whereby Christ has made you free. And do not tangle yourself with the yoke of bondage. So in this context, we know that when Paul wrote to the Galatians, he referred to the law of Moses as that yoke of bondage that they were tangling themselves with. Christ made them free from the bondage of the yoke of the law of Moses. Christ has made us free from the bondage of death. We learn about this when we look at Second Nephi chapter 2, verse 27. Wherefore, men are free according to the flesh, and all things are given them which are expedient unto men. They are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men. So through Jesus Christ, we are free to choose him. And when we choose him, we choose eternal life. We choose freedom. But when we do not choose Jesus Christ, what are we choosing? Or to choose captivity and death. So we are choosing to be captives and we are choosing death when we do not choose Jesus Christ. According to the captivity and the power of the devil, when we do not choose Jesus Christ, we give the devil power to captivate us through death. That's why it says according to the captivity and the power of the devil. When you do not choose Jesus Christ, we choose the devil because his power now is activated over us. And we learn that the devil has only one desire when it comes to us. He seeketh that all men might, might be miserable like unto himself. So when we do not choose Jesus Christ, we give the devil power to make us miserable as he is. That's why we are made free through Jesus Christ, because he overcame death. He made it possible for us to inherit eternal life, but only if we choose him. But we are given power to choose. So we can either choose Jesus Christ and choose freedom, or we can have the devil captivate us. And then he's given the, and he has this power over death. So that's what we learn. So freedom, it's possible through Jesus Christ. That's what Paul was trying to teach the Galatians, that choose Jesus Christ, follow him, and that's the path to true freedom.